Hey everyone, it's Megan from Embroidery Enthusiast. Thank you so much for buying one of my kits. If you enjoy making this hoop, please let me know. I'd appreciate the feedback. I'd love to make other kits for you in the future. Um, or feel free to recommend this particular kit for someone that you may know that is interested in starting embroidery. I really hope you love this craft as much as I do. As you can see, we have our practice fabric inserted already into our hoop. We'll be using this to master the stitches that we need for this particular design. The other piece of fabric is our fabric with the design drawn on it. We'll insert this into our hoop once we've finished uh, practicing. Otherwise, we have this needle and we also have our thread that we need to complete this design. Um, I've written the numbers onto the thread holders so if you do run out you can send me a message um, or head over to your local craft store they are dmc thread so you can find them at most michaels um, or other craft stores the only thing that's not included in this kit is a pair of scissors you can use any old kitchen scissors or sewing scissors if you have them uh, whatever will work to cut our thread all right that's everything that you need to know Let's get started by threading our needle and walking you through these different stitches we'll be learning for this design. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook and leave me any feedback that you may have. All right, first things first, we're going to thread our needle. You can take this light blue thread that you find to practice with um, and we will put all six strands through the eye of our needle. I don't tie mine, I just kind of leave it with a little um, extra thread at the end, however if you want to tie a little knot um, at the end that's okay as well. After we've threaded our needle we will tie a knot at the end so that our thread doesn't pull through uh, the back of our fabric. I usually double knot it um, so that it's nice and secure. Okay, so let's start with our practice hoop. Have your hoop and your thread and your needle ready. And we're going to start with our stem stitch. So we're going to come up through the back of the fabric. We're always coming up through the back. And we'll pull the needle through at the beginning of the line. Next, we'll go back down a stitch length down our line. So we can see it's about that far. Don't stress about the length of your stitch. Um, there's really no science behind it. <laughs> With the stem stitch, we're going to come up through the middle of the stitch we made. So we need to make sure we hold it down so we don't get it caught. Again, we're pulling all the way through, so just the knot that we left. Um, is at the back. Next, when we go back down, we're going to go down another stitch length. It will be about half a stitch from where you went down the first time. When we come back up, we're going to come up right next to the end of our first stitch. When you get to the end of your line, see I'm getting close here, so I'm going to, I'm at the middle of a stitch, I'm going to come back down pretty close to the end of my line, but not quite. I'll come back up to meet my previous stitch, pull it, and then I'll just bring it down, uh, I'll just go as far as the end of my line. So it'll be kind of a small stitch. Next, we're gonna go to our satin stitch. So we're going to start at the top of our leaf, the very highest point, coming up from the back and pulling our thread all the way through. We're gonna keep a semi-straight line, as straight as we can, 
and take our needle back through at the bottom of our leaf, going back towards the top of our leaf. I'm gonna go down a little ways. Doesn't really matter where you go on your line. And bring it through. I'm gonna put the needle back through at the bottom of my leaf where I went down the last time. Not in the same place, but a little. For our French knot, I've come up the back. I prefer to keep my hoop nice and flat. Um, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna walk you through this as a right-handed person. Um, you will hold your thread tight in your left hand. Hold your needle in your right. Put the needle underneath um, the thread, and we're just gonna wrap it around once, so we have this little loop. The trick here is to keep the loop <laughs> on your needle as you push your needle closer and closer to your fabric. Um, we're going to go back down pretty close to where uh, we came up, but not in the same hole. And we'll keep the knot tight to the fabric. And we'll pull through. We're going to do this and wrap it around three times, which is how we'll be making our flowers. So coming up, thread tight, wrapping it around three times so we get a nice big knot, bringing it back down, holding and pulling tight with our left hand and pulling it through. This time you really might need to to fight with it. And there we go. Next, our lazy daisy stitch. I'm gonna come up in the middle of my petals here. I'm gonna go back down, not in the same hole, but pretty close. And I'm gonna pull it back down through my fabric. With this one, I'm gonna leave a little loop, just like that. And that loop is going to become my petal. So if I lay it flat, whoops, if you lose it, you can just bring it back up. So I'm gonna lay it flat against my drawing and I'm going to bring my needle back up through the back, right in the middle of my loop at the top of my flower petal. I'll pull it through. And to pin it down, I'm just gonna go on the other side of it, just to hold it in place right there. And that makes a little petal. You can see kind of the difference. In this petal, I have pulled pretty tight, um, whereas in these ones, I didn't pull down as tight so there I can kind of stretch them out um, and they look a little wider. You can fill in these petals with the satin stitch. So remember you can start from the bottom if you'd like um, going up uh, to the top of the petal and just filling it in um, if you'd like. If not you can totally just leave it as the lazy daisy stitch and that's it. I'll show you how I finish at the back. Um, I usually just make a little knot, so just bringing my needle around. I'll show you how I finish at the back. Um, I usually just make a little knot, so just bringing my needle around and pulling it tightly. Uh, so that you have a little knot to keep everything in place. And that's it, just cut off the rest of your thread. You can tighten it with this screw. Very important for keeping your fabric nice and tight. You can pull it on the edges so that there's no creases or wrinkles. And there you go, we are ready to start stitching.